Hello there, namaste, and this is Joker, and I remember that when they mentioned that they were going to do a sequel to this, because the first one was a low budget, <laughs> 50 million dollars in Hollywood is considered a low budget film, but was a low budget film, and it, it was lightning striking, and it, it, I feel like it's not going to strike twice, because the first one, it was gritty, it was grounded, it was basically redoing Taxi Driver with the Joker as the main character. And I was, I've always said, it's like, if they're going to redo a trilogy, they're going to do, uh, it doing taxi driver. Then they do, uh, a, a, a assault on Arkham. Uh, what is it? One flew the cuckoo's nest. And then it basically go into a uh, clockwork orange. That's the only way to have a franchise trying to mimic classic film that are bizarre and crazy using the Joker. And this would have to be one flew the cuckoo's nest. They're going to have to have that style, that grit, that feel because if honestly if they don't if they try to go more cgi because it, it now has a bigger budget but when they they start to go more the bigger budget route it loses more of its heart and i'm a, i'm hoping it doesn't do that i'm really hoping that they focus on the story more than anything because the joker was such a unique interesting movie like it's hard to see some scenes but that's what they were going for and how are they going to do it again in a sequel. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. Let's do it. Wakey, wakey. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. God. No. 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 Why? Why? Why does Harley Quinn have to be in everything now? You know, that's starting. It's getting played out. Like, what made Harley Quinn so great was she was never in the comics. She was did not exist until Batman the Animated Series. That is where she was introduced. She was the therapist, a young, enthusiastic therapist who interviewed Joker, and Joker basically destroyed her psychologically because he, she opened a pathway to allow him in. That's what made it so fascinating, because you didn't know her backstory. She was just thrown into the story in, in the animated series. And then it's like, all right, Let's do this back story where he's in Arkham and she was the therapist. And it just was so fascinating. And again, it looks like they're trying to reboot the Harley Quinn story. It's just like it was he only worked in that scenario in the animated series. Now they're trying to do it with uh, Margaret Robbie. They're doing that, which is bombed in every movie she's been in because it just it's not interesting. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just, I am tired of them bringing it up. It was like, it should have just been Joker. This isn't Joker Harley Quinn. This is this is Joker. It, it, it do one flew the cuckoo's nest. It would be perfect. You don't need to add, if you were going to add Harley Quinn, you could have just added her as a doctor in name only. You wouldn't have to do, have her have a story. You could have just had her in name only and our minds would fill the blank. Oh my God. Gosh, I'm tired of this. <laughs> I'm getting so tired of Harley Quinn. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Whatever. It's already ruined I for me. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Okay, so they take over the asylum. Uh, they're going to have to. I mean, that's that's what it's going to be. Escape uh, Assault on Arkham, where Joker... Well, the Joker is a side character in that whole story. But yeah, we're... we're uh, what is it? The game. So, uh, what is... The, there's films, there's a manga. Or manga. I, I've been thinking manga more than comments, comics recently, because comics are dead. Well, the uh, mainstream. Um, yeah, but it's just like... He's going to have to. He's going to have to take over Arkham Asylum. Let's get out of here.
Okay, so Harley Quinn does not influence the Joker at all. She cannot say anything that would get him to act upon it. He doesn't... Oh my gosh. Again, again, again. It's its own universe. It's its own story. It's a retelling, more grounded version of the Joker, I guess. I mean, oh, this is just not right i just gotta say it just does not feel right it went from being this spectacular one-off thing to making harley quinn the next you know she's gonna say something he's gonna follow oh uh, whatever Wait, that, I, I guess I don't know who Gaga is, so <laughs> I don't, I don't know singers. That's apparently Lady Gaga. Okay, okay, but oh my gosh, again, no, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say this is not gonna be a good movie. Uh, that may hurt a lot of people's feelings, especially people who haven't seen the movie yet. But I'm just gonna be honest i am tired of harley quinn i am tired of her being a main focus when she's just a side complimentary character she's uh nothing but an appendage not not even an appendage she's she, she's a, a a piece of clothing to the joker that's what she is she's a part of his suit she's a part of his custom the uh, costume he could get rid of her at any moment because he doesn't care it's just something she he could change at any moment oh tell us what's changed are there well, i'll tell you what's changed we are alone anymore that's what we should be talking about. Because <laughs> that's the thing, jo Joaquin Phoenix does an amazing job playing the Joker. An amazing job. And then you're adding Harley Quinn to the mix. It, <sighs> Because I know the fact that he felt alone in the first one. Like, you can feel it. You can feel it watching the film that he is alone, isolated. Nuts. I mean, if they turn it around where the Harley Quinn is just nothing but a figment of his imagination. Now, that would be okay. Now, now that makes sense. But I doubt they're going to do that. I doubt they're going to do that. They're going to make it where... She's kind of the the a supporting character in his story. I want to see the real you. Okay. I think I said my piece enough. I I'm I'm pretty sure I've I <laughs> Oh the, the, like there was potential. There was potential and I'm already going in regretting the fact that, that like that's the thing. It did so well the first time around. I remember they how are having people like go through metal detectors and things like that, because there was gonna be this whole revolution of people in in red caps who stood up and you know which it, 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 i'm not gonna go down that road i'm not gonna go down that room but yeah it was crazy it was absolutely nuts the stuff you had to go through just to watch it and it just turned out to be this this interesting psychological movie that basically brought to light mental illness to in a lot of fa facets about how people are treated certain ways upon just little quirks that they have i mean it's it was great it was great, and you turn it around to be this this psychological movie that's just perfect, with done with a gritty classic feel. And again, now it looks like uh, I'm hoping that they just blew the budget on Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga. <laughs> I mean, 
they'd have to. I'm pretty sure they're both both very, especially with Joaquin Phoenix, nearly starving himself the first time for the role. I mean, what? He had like 0.2% body fat or something like that for the, those scenes that he was eating. It's just like, oh, man. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm excited, but not mainly because I don't expect it to be good. But I'm also excited because I want to see one flew the cuckoo's nest. I, I, I am excited to see that. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I hope you're excited for this film or you're not excited for this film or I'm completely wrong about any thoughts I have on this film. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles. <laughs>